Hi everybody and welcome to a new episode of Fortress Craft Evolved Season 5. Now, I did start recording earlier, I had to cut off, um, had a phone call from my boss. So, what we're doing is, first of all, those of you that have not charged your orbital array by the 10th of September 2015, you now cannot use the loophole because DJ has fixed it. Basically, the attack estimated time, if you log out at 30 minutes and then you log back in, you used to get 60 minutes. The time used to be reset. DJ has now fixed that after we had a, a, a bit of a iffy conversation and saying that it was a legit bypass it's now fixed you can no longer now log out of Fortress Craft Evolved and get a reset of 60 minutes this currently as far as I'm aware works with Bleeding Edge I am not sure if it works on any other version if it does work on any other version, let us know so we can let the community know or post it on the community or put a posting on the community forum of charging the array. That is what it's called. Okay, let us know. Give us feedback, boys and girls. Does this fix now work only in Bleeding Edge or does it now work in everything? Okay, do let us know. Okay, so we have taken the power out of our extractors. We, we are taking the, uh, um, the cubes out, okay. Now, we have also stopped uh, this as well. So, we will be um, sorting something out, okay, for the power. We have got 28 minutes. For the array to come in uh, and get attacked so we're basically going to wait and see what happens now the other thing that we have done is we are going to um, see just how much power a T4 battery is going to um, charge okay because we want power okay so the way that we're going to do that is we are going to like i said we're going to stop charging the array and we're going to be making um a new t4 battery i need to find out what we need for a t4 battery and um so yeah there's going to be a lot a lot of changes so that also means now that when we do recording live we won't be logging out of the game. We'll just pause the live stream for about 30 to 60 seconds. And then we will um, restart the stream. Because when I'm recording for YouTube, it's actually being recorded live. So if you want to stay really up to date, log into the live version. Especially on Saturday, it's going to do a lot of... Lot of streaming on there. Those of you that are using the broken wasp mod, it is still working with the latest version of Bleeding Edge. Okay, that is because we have put it into the net into the proper mod folder that DJ gave us. And so far, the new updates that have come out, it's stuck there. So hopefully, we are hoping that broken wasp mod is uh, going to stay there okay so that that's kind of thing so you can make all the crystals there and all the location markers are now in the correct place we actually put it in in the wasp thing but DJ has also put it correct in the manufacturing list so we will need to update that as well okay so we will be checking the updates over on the weekends um, what else um, do, 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 do. Yeah, we will be making a slight adjustment 
um, to uh, one of these. We can see that we've now got some more icons because we're just going to be going through having a look at these. So we've got all the icons there. So what other icons have we got? Um, all the icons are there. Mark II solar panel still hasn't got an icon. Okay, so we do need to have um, a look at that to see why that hasn't uh, that will probably be coming out in the next patch hopefully we're gonna craft one Crafting. anyway okay because that is what we actually got it for um, we're gonna put it on top of the solar array just see how much it will charge mark for batteries we are currently working on those we're currently working on these as well because we need titanium that is what we need at the moment all we need now at the moment because we are concentrating on charging on the array is gold, nickel and titanium and stuff like that. Organic power storage, still haven't got an organic um, icon thing. You can now, like I said, if you're using the broken wasp mod, you can make the pristine faceted eyes, you can make the perfect faceted eyes, you can make the massive faceted eyes. These are all for the lenses. This is the most valuable lens that you can get but if your base threat is below 2k you ain't gonna get these good drops okay we're still waiting to see all the new game mechanics for those hopefully they will be much much better okay we have lots and lots of storage hoppers everything seems okay here still need one or two of the other storage crates in because we haven't actually got all the full color codes so we are actually going to ask for some more color coded crates because they do come in handy um, auto upgrader still hasn't got an icon um, anything on this so it, it's getting it, it's kind of getting there um, all the Arthur upgrade packs these are the dapper moustache and hats and stuff like that these are to make I don't know Arthur look better stuff like that but we don't have any of this um, done we have one or two we have the monocle and we um, I don't think we have the upgrade uh, bits there we're gonna have a look we're gonna make this I want to see what it is Arthur dapper pack um, uh, we're not too sure whether or not these these work and um, research assembly now this one here this is the one we're going to move okay because in my opinion and this is only my opinion it's in the wrong menu why would you want a research assembler in an upgrade in your upgrade section when really it should be with the stamper plan and extrusion plan because all of that requires you to have all of those bits put together to get the bits and then you need to put the refine the, the assembler at, at, at the end so we're actually going to when we do our update we are going to put that in there and we're going to make sure it goes in this menu and not the one that is currently in. But everything else seems fine. Turret still haven't got any um, uh, bits and pieces. Location marks, good. Charge which I do like that. Those are just some there. Null entry item floor. Ignore that. I'm trying to put in my own blocks into the game. We're going to try and work on that a little bit later on over the weekend so again ignore that one you can't do it it's, it's unknown that's nothing to do with the game that's what what i'm actually doing um all of these seems okay all of these are okay all of these are okay uh we still don't have no black canvas okay that's that's still we don't have that we're just going to check and just see if we've got anything in here um no we don't have no black canvas yet so we're gonna to have to again try and get into the menu and to the manufacturing menu and see if we can get that 
so we can start having um, that black canvas not too sure what it is I mean uh, yeah so hopefully we can get some of that sorted so that's all that got on I have reconfigured the um, the uh, titanium line so I need to go and check the titanium um, bit just to make sure that it is uh, going and I colour coded all the bottoms by the way and yeah this this looks like it's going so we have to go and check the titanium line because I need to make sure that the titanium line is running um, also something else that you may or may not know camo bots now do attack your power now we're not too sure if they attack your power cubes or your power um, transmitter okay but they drain 25% of your power okay so this if you get camo box around and they will go all the way up to the surface yeah just be aware that they are going to be attacking your um, bits and pieces okay so do be aware of that if you suddenly find that you've got no power halfway down go check your line, line check your hollow base stick a T2 gun on it okay we are going to be testing that out because we've had these cubes here and they're not attacking them at all okay um, we have um, this one here this is very low so we're going to be checking uh, what that one is so the, the, the problem is we can't color code it unless we actually go down so we're actually going to go down and find out what well we're actually going to go up and find out why we've got a back lag there and you can see that we've got uh, a little back lag there as well and we are looking to see why um, because we, we, we spent a lot of time and effort in getting these in and we're just wondering whether or not it's because um, of the new bits and pieces in, 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 in the game that's come out so do remember that I mean we've still got gold going we've still got everything going but you can see it's a little bit slower here we're finding now we're finding that we're having to slow down our drill heads that have got fusion in because they're actually not powering up as efficiently okay so we're actually having to go down to magnetic so it now actually looks like that if you have got um, magnetic uh, fusion drills in because we, we're getting low power here that um, you're gonna have to be putting T2 lines in okay once you get up to magnetic it's a T2 line job okay if you don't have a T2 line job then that's it now all of these are protected with guns okay these are T1 guns by the way ladies and gentlemen you do not need any more now I can see that it is now starting to backfill which is I'm very very happy with um, because I had a lot a lot of problems with this line I had to sort the line out uh, quite quickly to uh, get it but yeah we are now backfilling and that is what you want you need to have it backfilled because if you don't have it backfilled your guns are not going to do a proper job okay so this is this is what uh, we need to make sure that uh, we are doing this and you can see that we have all the transmitters there and you know <laughs> this this is is the problem for us was here um, we were just basically um, because the game mechanics now we started off this series on hard mode okay so it's been a while there's been a few changes and the last change was basically people have been complaining that when they were doing a normal mode which has now been I changed to something else but is plentiful mode yeah instead of doing 16 blocks per ore 
for uh, 16 all uh, per bar it's gone back to eight blocks per bar okay so this actually causes you a problem if you've had it set up to run on high-end stuff now you can put on of course the um, the headers okay but the headers send your threat level up by the way so do be warned yeah you've got to get to um, a point where do we have a backlog like this which I'm actually not bothered about I, I don't I don't I don't mind a backlog on my um, on my lines yeah and we actually change down on this to a magnetic draw motor okay we actually change down all right so we are um, having uh, a good look at this and we're just going to see what we've got left in here which is two million okay so this is a very good vein for us so we are going to be putting in extra headers on there but i'm telling you even on hard mode yeah which is now normal mode which is now plentiful resources or whatever it's been done you get a, a vein like that and that's the only vein you're going to need okay that's the only vein you're going to need so we kind of need um a, 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 a bit more of a challenge now you can see we actually got 100 titanium ore in there so we're going to leave that workbench there because we we, we might um I, I don't i don't know if we can make um a drill head or, or, or anything yet so we're going to have a look uh, in the drill head um here um we're going to have a look at the steel cut ahead and we need a uh, low grade steel bar which is uh we, we need three of those on I think it's in this menu and uh, yeah so so yeah be, be prepared for some big changes uh, coming in, in the game and we are going to carry on with season six we have started it but you know we're not too sure whether we should carry on with it and start season seven because of the of, of the game menu um, but then I don't want to disappoint the followers that we've already got okay um, because we've, we've already got a lot of people watching that so right okay just a quick word we've got DJ in the room apparently there's going to be another patch coming out because the CPH is invulnerable so if you have or you can get online before you do the new day and you need to be online right now at 10 past 10 GMT time to try and get your uh, your orbital array up then you're, you're going to be doing it the hard way we're going to be doing it, it, it the hard way okay and obviously <laughs> me and DJ will be having discussions again of saying well this is broken this is broken and this is broken because we like to break the game and give DJ stress because if we can break the game and then DJ fixes it like he did with the minecarts he worked terribly hard on the minecarts because he said no it's broke no it's broke no it's broke no we can't break it he actually cheered Okay, he actually cheers and I can't I can't say what he said. But uh, yeah, it was good fun. It it really was. Um but yeah. Those are the two major changes. Not too sure what's happened to the power. Um but yeah, we're now backlogging up, but I've had to take off the um higher thing. But depending on how quick you want to get through the game is how much base threat you're going to have okay now we've plodded along we've just gone our own merry way and we've done our bits and pieces and we haven't really worried too much about it okay and we've done it we've worked it out the only thing that we've got to do 
is to work on the um, on the power on, on the orbital array. That that's all we've got to do now. Okay, so that's it. There's no more legit get out to power up your orbital array. You are going to have to think. You are going to have to do it now. It is possible. Okay. We have got three people do, who, who have done it. Three people that I know that have done it. Um, but if you do not want to power it up on normal mode, yeah, there is another loophole. Okay, and we're going to tell you what that loophole is. Unless DJ changes it in the new patch is if you go to the very easy mode where you don't get mobs or you get very few little mobs yeah you can power up your array and you can open up rush mode if you want to do it on normal mode which is now not normal mode okay you are gonna be in for a bad time okay gonna be up for a bad time and for those of you that have been complaining about Henrietta, which is the spider, some people call her, um, one of my followers calls her Martha, someone else calls her Fred. So whatever you call your spider bot, okay, wherever Martha is, or Henrietta is, or Fred is, I don't know where she is at the moment, yeah, we don't know when it's coming out, but DJ has put out a live 30 second patch that she now has her gun activated. Okay, her gun is now activated. So do be aware of that, boys and girls. It's now activated. It's now gonna be uh, more and more um, fun. My cards are still working. You can see here that they're still working. So we are going to be creating, concentrating on our biomass production. That's the next thing that we're going to be doing. Ah, uh, here she is. Here, here's Henrietta. Now you can see that she's got a lot, lot more bright colours, a lot more red. Personally, I would have preferred pink because I like pink, you know, but hey, not my game. If it was me, she would be pink. And God help anybody who didn't like it, they could bugger off. Okay. Right, okay, so um, once DJ has got coffee and we've broken the game a bit more, it's going to be trying to break. Uh, going to try and be fixing those issues. So don't forget, boys and girls, if you haven't got your orbital array done by the 10th of September 2015 you're going to be doing the same way as me and that's going to be charging it up getting as much power in as you can as quickly as you can within 60 minutes that is your goal time in 60 minutes you need to make 100 million so what we're going to tell you is we're quickly going to calculate it so we've got 100 million okay yeah and you're going to divide that by 60. So you need to be putting in per minute over 1.67 million units of power per minute. Okay? That is what you need to be doing. If you cannot transfer that amount of power within that 60 minutes, okay? right or you cannot hold off a wave at least one wave to give you yourself two hours don't power it okay because you'll you'll lose it okay so again you need to do it either in 60 minutes at 1.67 million units per minute or I'm just going to work out that on the calculator again uh, we do 100 million divide by 120 if you can do the first wave yeah 
but you can stand the first wave you need to get in 834,000 units of power in per minute for two hours okay that's if you get 60 minutes between each wave okay you don't always get that so it's up to you we don't know currently how much we lose if we lose power because when our, our very good friend Sykes did it he overpowered his orbital array okay he overpowered it and even when he got attacked and he lost the attack the amount of power he was putting in and it can be done because I've seen him do it the amount of power that can be put into this yeah was so intense that even if he lost the wave he was still powering it up okay so it can be done and we're gonna do it we're gonna prove it we're gonna show you that it can be done it's actually now the game has actually now become a challenge because it's not no challenge okay it, it used to be oh yeah we'll just log out but we'll get it done there was a loophole DJ's fixed that so you can't do that so be aware of that okay um, we are going to go and try and build another T4 battery because that's that's the uh, main main big thing and again the main thing that you're going to be doing when you've got this because we've got all the research done now we've got all the research done is you are going to be spending a lot of time either building T4 batteries or T5 batteries okay um, we don't know how quick these batteries fill we don't know how quick they work um, and stuff like that we now like I said we're now starting to get um, a lot more on here so uh, we're, we're, we're getting a lot more titanium we're getting nickel we're now having to think about expanding the building <coughs> oh, excuse me. okay so in season six we will be improving design we will be improving um, some uh, bits and pieces uh, that we've learned from this game okay and there's certain things that I will always do in the game because they currently with the game um, bits and pieces in the patch um, are the best solution that I have found you may have found a better solution if you found a better solution leave it in the comments show me a link video it take pictures explain how it goes we'll build it we'll test it you know um, for those of you that want tutorials, I have done the basic things. I'm going to be working on the um, quarry. I don't think I've done the quarry yet. We've done how to do the turbine. We've done how to do the T4 battery. And we have done... Um, we haven't done the T5 battery yet because I haven't built it. And we... I haven't done the lab, I don't think we've done the lab, so we're going to be doing that and we're going to be showing you how to automate and get everything set up to make um, batteries and stuff. Now you can see that this tur turbine here is idling because of just making um, bits and pieces, so yeah, all fun and games, all fun and games. Now don't forget a T2 solar array can only go on top of a T4 battery. Okay, only go on top of a T4 battery. Now there's two things that we need to solve at the moment is getting more power into the uh, quarry so it digs quicker. Okay, and getting more power into the uh, solar array and we need Mark 3. Now we do have a little bit of conflict on this okay now if we make um i think no we get nine of these um it needs 27 in total for this yeah okay mark threes so you need to make sure that you've got gold nickel and titanium now i'm going to ask dj if he would consider changing the recipe leaving the gold in leaving the nickel in leaving the titanium leaving the t t t 
tin plate in but adding lithium because if we look at the power storage block one you need lithium copper and tin you look at power storage two you need lithium because lithium is in with the power storage block one power storage block three doesn't need lithium okay so that's the base defense thing we're just just in time to go and see how it is we we, we have totally decimated our bits and pieces on here so we're gonna go up we're gonna go and see how the mechanics are because it is indestructible so we actually might have a problem because we've actually got no power coming to this okay this this is how we're, we're doing at the moment um, up here yeah okay so we've got some power in here we've got some power in here but once this power is done that's it it's done there's there, there, there's no more okay all right so that's it now apparently the recipes as well in the lab in the big lab where you do your research with the pod has been changed so hopefully and hopefully DJ can confirm this that is if you start off using uh, I believe the first one is copper and then you need copper and tin when you get to the very last one which is the T5 battery you are going to have to use all eight okay and not just four um, if it doesn't those of you that are going to be using a bro broken wasp thing we're going to program it so it does okay so we will put a great big warning in there saying that if, if you're going to do this okay it's going to install this it's going to be changing these files so we pre-warned you okay uh, we're, we're going to go further up because we can't see what's going on because we can't see any of the wasps uh, coming at the moment and uh, we want to see what changes are in and I know this is going to be a little bit longer and right so we're shooting over here okay so we're, we're just having to see how these are okay now apparently guns now also um, don't all fire at once okay so that actually is better that they have a, a random fire time so you're not going to get eight guns hitting one target you might have one gun, you might have two guns, you might have 15 guns. Okay, so that uh, has been changed. So they're actually going to help you, help us out there. Okay. Um, but we have got a threat scanner somewhere. I know, I know we've got one down here somewhere. Well, I, I don't think we've got one down there anymore. I think I took it off. So you can see now that they actually look for a weak point now the problem is I haven't got a weak point okay I've got all of the reason and my weak point actually is on the far side so they're, they're, they're coming from a, a, a different way now it's nice that we actually now see an explosion when they die because before we were getting it and then we we're just dropping out the sky um, so yeah so it's very good Woo! there we go okay I don't know why I've got that one there. So, yeah, we're just going to go and see what wave we're on, how much damage we're doing, and uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, let's, let's, let's just go and see. And... I can't remember where my threat scanner is. Okay, I know I've got two threat scanners. Um, we don't know where, where Henrietta is at the moment. She wandered off somewhere. Uh, we've got currently um, next to that estimated. Right, okay, that was really, really underpowered. We actually killed all of it. We've got only 50 minutes to do it. To, uh, do it. So we, we, we don't know where she's gone. She's gone off for a wander. She went off over that way. 
Um, so I, I'm unsure where she is at the moment. I'm afraid, um, DJ. So we haven't seen Henrietta for a while. She used to sit up by the uh, power. She used to follow us. She's not following us anymore. So I don't know what she's done. Um, so I don't know. We kind of miss her. Get her back. Get her fixed. And change the colour to pink, please. I like pink. You know, put a few little pinks bit on for us. So, yeah, we're actually going to stop uh, live streaming now. We're going to be back in about 60 seconds for those that are watching the live stream. Those of you that are watching YouTube, hit that like button. Leave comments, leave suggestions. And if you're watching the tutorial series, let me know what you want me to build. Okay, we'll see you soon. Bye for now.